Hey guys, James here today and welcome back to another Sims 4 house building video today. Yeah, yeah, we're doing a 4x4 home. So yesterday we did the 5x5 and if you haven't seen that, I'll link it down below. And before that we did the 6x6. So yeah, slowly I'm progressing smaller and smaller because I uh, pretty much the second I finished building the 5x5 home, I'm like, you know what? We still had a little bit of spare space. Like there was still room, uh, to, there was still unnecessary space that we didn't need for everything to work. So I was like, we could probably go smaller. I sure I could have done a four by five, but you know what? I was like, you know, let, let's take it down a hole, another notch. Let's go to four by four. So the basics of this is we we have everything you need to live. We have uh, a full kitchen, a full bathroom. We have a bed so you can properly sleep, a TV, a computer, a set of drawers, a mirror. Uh, pretty much every single thing your sim needs to fulfill uh, sort of all, you know, their, their usual tasks. Everything you would find in a full-size home is available here as well. Uh, and now I know what you're thinking. Immediate, immediately you're like, hey, 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 yeah, 4x4 four four is all good, but wh what about 3x3? Three three? <laughs> yeah, no, that's possible. I, uh, I've actually already done one. I uh, already did it. Uh, so pretty much the second I built the 5x5, five five, I immediately went to build a 4x4 four four, and then a 3x3 three three as well. Now 3x3 three three does make some compromises because, you know, for instance, a bed is 3x1. Three three the kitchen, for a full fun fully functional kitchen, you need it to be 3x1 because you need the fridge, you need the stove, and you need a counter. So um, then what you're left with is a room... That's 3x3 three three that only has a 1x3 uh, corridor in the middle. Uh, there will be a video on that as well, so stay tuned for that one. Uh, essentially, the 3x3 three three turns out to be a single room, uh, and that's how that works out. Anyway, there's a lot of playing around here with the 4x4, four four because uh, I was like, I wonder, because I, I was thinking, I, I honestly thought there's no way that we could fit a full-size bathroom uh, into a 4x4. Four four. Like, oh, not a full size. There's no way we could fit the, the separate bathroom, like the 2x2 the two two that we were using in the 5x5 five five and see, oh, well, there's a lot of numbers going on in this. But then I was like, hang on, we probably could just fit the bathroom in just like we did before. So here I am uh, playing around with the idea of just getting the same size bathroom to fit in. Uh, so just messing around with the the sink and the shower and the toilet, seeing what, what fits where. Uh, and the bed actually still works like that. So surprisingly, there's a lot of things that... Uh, you may not think work in The Sims, but they totally do. For instance, your sim actually only needs uh, one like square to get into the bed. Uh, and you'll see what I mean a little later on as this build gets a little bit more fleshed out. So you can see I'm, I'm again playing around with the layout, seeing what fits where. Uh, and seeing how we can get this all to work. So yeah, instead of having a separate table, what I've done there, as you can see, I've just put a, I've done an island counter because they can still use the island counter to, uh, to chop up food. As you can see, I'm, just, uh, I'm testing out everything as I go to make sure it all works. So we can still use the counter to chop up, we've got the sink in the bathroom to wash up, and then you got the chair to use it as a table. So it doubles up as a table and a, uh, and a counter space. And then of course we'll use the wall mounted bookshelf because that can go, that can actually be used above beds so they can reach over a bed to get it. You can also put that wall mounted bookshelf above counters and I'd actually move it there later on. Um, I'll see if I can fit the computer in there. It did not work, but instead what does work is putting the computer or putting a table over the end of a bed. He can use the computer just fine and he can also get into the bed just fine, which I think is something super handy for this build uh, is the fact that I was able to do that. So you can see I'm just messing around trying out different ideas here because I, when, I, when I figured out you could do that, I was like, you know what? This could probably be really, really useful. So again, I've shoved the bed a little bit into the wall. He can still use it. He can still get to the computer and he can still sit on the counter and chop up food just there, which I think is incredible that this still works. Uh, guaranteed in Sims 3 that this current layout would not work at all. I would love to try it just to see, but I don't think it's going to work in Sims 3. Um, so yeah. So now we've got the fully functional kitchen. We've got a fully functional bathroom and we've got a dining table uh, and, and a computer as well. So I thought... We don't really need a TV, but I was like, you know what, let's put one in anyway. So I've just done the wall mounted one from Get Together. Oh, Get Together. Get to Work. I put the wall mounted TV up over there so they can sit down at the computer and actually watch the TV from there if you want. Of course, you don't actually need a TV because you can do every, like you can get your fun and all that up on the computer. Though I guess the TV does help if you want to get your cooking skill up or your comedy because you can just watch the channels uh, and do it that way. And there you go. I've put the mirror in the bathroom as well. And that's where I put in the set of drawers. I'm just sort of shimmying it into place, uh, moving the computer into place as well, seeing if the bed still works. Amazingly, the bed still works. That's insane that that still works. And we have a full set of drawers, which you don't really need a full set of drawers because I think you can actually just use the uh, the mirror to change your clothes, can't you? I don't know. But either way, we have a full set of drawers. We have the computer. We have the bed. We have the dining table and the chopping up space. 
the fact that this all still works in a 4x4 space is awesome. Uh, so we've got the stereo in there as well. We're getting nice big windows because this is such a small space. You want to make it feel a little bit bigger by having uh, windows that you can see out into the world. Otherwise, it would absolutely feel like a shoebox, uh, which... It's not really what we want our sims to feel like when they're living in here. Now, I do believe that this ends up as a starter home price. It may, I think it's a little bit over 20,000 when it's with the lot, but you could just go in and remove some of, because I move outside and I do a lot of decoration outside. So you could remove some of the like kind of landscaping elements if you wanted as well. And I thought we'd uh, continue the theme of having a little bit of colored uh, or a little bit of color in the build as well. So we've gone for that weird tealy, tealish green kind of color uh, in the house. And, uh, and then now, of course, the house is just a square, so we've got to add some details, make it look a little bit nicer on the outside. So we're, we're gussing it up a little bit with some trims and columns and all that kind of good stuff uh, around the front, just doing stuff. I think I'm just adding like a balcony to the, the home at the moment. Uh, yeah, just, and then I'm moving into the middle of the lot just because I felt like putting it in the middle seemed like a nicer place to put it. Uh, and then, yeah, so now it's just on like a little, well, it will be on a little deck in a second when I raise it up. Uh, yeah, I mean... There you go, like, that, that, the rest of this video is just uh, decorating the outside, pretty much. But there you go, 4x4, four four, entirely possible. And here I was a couple days ago doing the 6x6 six six build challenge, and I was like... And I thought, you know what, this could be difficult, this could be difficult. Turns out, you know, no, no, you can build a, you can build a fully functional 4x4 four four home. Uh, and now I've seen tons and tons of suggestions uh, based on these tiny homes. Like uh, like I said, I've already done a 3x3, three three, and that's 3x3 three three one level. Uh, then, of course, there's been suggestions from you guys to do, like, multi-level, multi like, 4x4s four four or 3x3s three three or all these crazy size rooms. I'm not going to be going absolutely, you know, crazy on them now. Uh, I will post a 3x3 three three video because, I, I mean, I've already done that. But after that, I think we'll... <laughs> We'll take a little bit of time off, because otherwise every single video on the channel is going to be a tiny home. Uh, well, we'll do some more. I think it'll be a fun little, I don't know, like a kind of little supplementary videos maybe we'll we'll do here. And then we'll sort of pepper them throughout. We'll pepper them throughout the other videos. Um, but yeah, no, so I, I wanted to share this one with you and the 3x3, three three, uh, because... Almost every comment when I posted the 5x5 five five was like, do a 4x4, four four, do a 4x4. Four four. And then there was like a couple do a 3x3. Three three. And then of course you have the you have the real jokester. I know who it is. It's, it's you right there. The real jokester It's like, oh, uh, do a 1x1. One one. <laughs> yeah, but you know what? That's totally possible. Uh, no, it's not. You could do a 2x2. Two two. Uh, uh, no, it wouldn't take, it wouldn't handle every knee. Oh, maybe. Because I was thinking if you use the get together bush, they added that bush in get together where you can go to the toilet in, you can sleep in it. Uh, so that's two of your needs. Then I'm, I'm wondering if you could use move objects on to put the cooler uh, from outdoor retreat sort of inside the bush kind of, because then that would take care of food. Uh, but there's nothing to do fun. So you might be able to shove a stereo in there. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not going to do a video on that, I don't think, because it wouldn't be long enough. But uh, I don't know. Interesting, interesting idea. You could probably do some wacky things using that bush. Um, yeah, so here I'm just going through the inside as well, just finding little decorative objects as well, just so it's not so bland and all that. Uh, getting some little toilet paper and, and little hand towels, all that kind of cool stuff. Uh, so I, I put those large hedges out the front because I was like, oh yeah, you know, we'll do that. It adds a nice little detail to it and also gives a bit of privacy. But then I mentioned this in the, the 5x5 build where it was like, after, the, after I did that and I started playing with a lot, I realized those hedges definitely get in, like, they get in your way. Like you have to, you can see like it covers up half the house those hedges. I was like, that's really annoying. So I, 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 ch I changed them out for some smaller plants. It still provided the detail and, and a little bit of color on the outside, but it didn't, you know, completely get in your way. Uh, just putting in the bin and the uh, post box. There is no indoor bin in this house because four by four, you probably could fit the bin in there somewhere, but there's not, there wasn't really any room with the layout I kind of did. So, I mean, it doesn't really matter because we've got the outdoors, out, out, okay. Okay, we've got the outdoor bin, so they can just put the stuff in there. There's You don't actually 100% need an indoor bin anyway, so I didn't bother with that, trying to squeeze, squeeze it in. So we've got one outside, which works just fine as well. Uh, there you go, I've removed those hedges at the front. Instead, I've just done those little flowers and a little fence, because it still has the detail. Uh, it just looks a little bit nicer. And here I am, I'm just doing last minute testing, because the fridge didn't actually work at this point, because the bookcase was too far, uh, like it was too close to the fridge, so apparently... The bookcase blocked the fridge that was on the wall. I, I don't know. It, it kind of got in the way, but now it works just fine. And I just tested cleaning up. So you can see it went out to the bin, went to the sink. That works. He's having a shower. We're going to dance to the stereo there. That works fine too. The computer still works. I mean, 
Everything is totally functional in this house. You can see he's watching the TV as well, getting into bed. There you go. Everything works 100% in this, in this house. So if you want to download this, you can click the link in the description down below. That will take you straight to the gallery page. Or you can search for it on the gallery by searching my origin ID, which is the Sim Supply. Same as my username, just the same as my username here on YouTube, just without the spaces. You can download it there. And it is a 100% fully functional 4x4 home that even has a separate bathroom, like a fully separate bathroom. Uh, that works just fine. Uh, and it doesn't look half bad on the inside. I'm not, I don't want to toot me own horn, but it doesn't look too shabby after all. Uh, so there you go, 4x4. Yep. Tick. Next up, 3x3, three three, and, you know, spoiler alert, it does work, but there's a few compromises you have to make with it. Uh, but I'll be posting that video very shortly. Again, download link is below. Thanks for watching. I will see you next time, and have an awesome day.